We're going to start by diving into how the system works and then look at some practice tips for how you can speed up recognizing the notes. And I'm also going to create a sister video for this one, which will be like a play along practice guide to test you and sharpen your skills. And I'll link to that in the description below. In music, we use the letters A through to G to name different notes. So that's seven letters. Now there's obviously a lot more than seven notes on a piano. We're ignoring the black keys for now as we'll come to that in another video, but we still have loads more than seven. Basically, there's seven different white notes and multiple versions of them. I know that sounds weird if you haven't heard it before, but let me show you how to find C first and then I'll come straight back to it. The keyboard, and this bit is still called a keyboard on a real piano by the way, can look like a complete blur of notes as a beginner, so we need to find a pattern to clear it up a bit. The one that jumps out most clearly is actually the groups of black keys. We have repeating patterns of blocks of two, and then three, and then two, and then three, and so on, and we can use those to help us find the white notes. This can get cut off short at the edges by the way, so don't let that confuse you, and just focus on the middle area for now. So if you look at the block of two black notes here, the white note that is directly to the left, this one, that's a C. And so are all these other ones that are all next to the block of two. They're basically higher and lower versions of the same note. And although they don't sound exactly the same, there's something about them that kind of does sound the same. If you're wondering why that is, it's because there's a pattern to the frequencies. If we take this A as an example, this one is 440 hertz. The one below would be 220 hertz. The next one up would be 880, which is double. Then we have 760 and so on. So each one that gets higher doubles the last one. You don't need to know that to play at all. It's just a cool fact. Anyway, you might be wondering why I've started with C and not A. Basically, it's just kind of easier to find than A. And also, there's a thing called middle C which is a really important concept in music. Middle C is the C that's literally most in the middle of your instrument. And musicians use this as a marker for knowing how high or low they're playing something. So that's really good to get to grips with that when you're first learning. So we're on C. Then we just go through the alphabet this way on the piano, which is getting higher. D, E, F, G, then We've run out of letters that we use, so we start again at A, A, B, C. And if you want to find the A straight away, you can just look at a C and go backwards to white notes to find the A. So you'll notice that all the notes that are the same and have the same name all look the same. So all the A's look like that, all the D's look like that, and so on. I like to use uh, F as a marker as well to help me find some quicker because if I was going to find a G for example, it's right next door and F is easy to find because it's left of the block of three like C was the left of the block of two. So that's how the system works but like I said at the start we want to head towards a place where you can do this without even thinking about it so there's no hesitation or mental barriers in your way when you're trying to play or learn something else. So you could start just by playing all the notes up and down from C to C saying the notes aloud as you go. I recommend just using one finger because you don't want mixing your fingers up to get in the way of the thing that you're actually trying to do. So go up to the next C saying every note out loud and then when that gets comfortable you can go further maybe up to the two C's above and then start going faster. Just make sure that you're really looking at what you're doing and speaking aloud so you make a strong connection between the name of the note and what it looks like on the piano. Next you should just try hitting a random note on the keyboard and then figure out what it is. To check you can download my worksheet from a link in the description or you can always get someone else to test you as well. But you can also click on my practice play along video which is linked down in the description too. If you're doing it by yourself maybe just look away or cover your eyes and then find a random note, play it and then check it. Lastly you want to do this the other way around so if you have someone else helping you then they can just say a note name then you have to find it and check it. If you're by yourself you could just pick notes out your head or get more creative pull them out of a bag or come up with your own idea for generating note names. Again my practice video has this covered too. 
As with everything, remember it takes time and practice to so test yourself for a little bit when you first start learning. And when you use it enough when you're actually playing and learning other things, it will eventually start feeling like a natural part of your musical vocab. Click on my play along practice video to get yourself naming the white notes faster. The next video coming up is how to name the black notes. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful because that's the point. So if you did, please give it a like and subscribe and see you in the next one.